Hi guys, welcome to your pick a card reading. I'm going to go through each pile and crystal. Go ahead and pause this video after if you need time to choose. Pile number one is a Lumerian Quartz Crystal. Pile number two is Green Abatite. And pile number three is Selenite. Hi, pile number one. You picked the Lumerian Quartz Crystal. You were drawn to this one. Lumerian Quartz Crystals is one of the most sought after crystals with its ties to ancient Lumeria. So you might be really drawn to ancient times. Um, I highly su suggest uh, doing some research on ancient Lumeria if you haven't already. Um, Lumerian Quartz Crystal invites us to open our hearts and heal. And it is believed to hold um, ancient spiritual knowledge. Um, how you know it is a true Lumerian Quartz Crystal is they have these keys. And it is said that you can sit in meditation and stroke the keys with your thumbnail uh, and access that ancient wisdom. So the oracle for your group is Imrama. Where are you being called to journey to? How perfect. This is this card um, is really asking you to see what actual physical locations you're drawn to and can go visit. There might be ancient wisdom and keys to unlock things in those locations for you. This could be an inward journey um, with, you know, plant medicines or meditation and breath work, things like that. Okay. So you're being really guided to figure out what, where you're being called to journey to. You are, um, it's in, it's inside you, this, this urge to really want to go adventure out and, um, learn new things and whatnot. The, yes, the tarot that you are drawn to is the sun. So this is really a high vibrational group. The sun is the happiest card in tarot. You are walking on sunshine is what I want to say. Walking on sunshine. Ooh. Um, follow your intuition at this time. Follow what's um, lighting your soul on fire. Okay. There are, there are places and things that you need to see in this lifetime. So do whatever you need to do in this moment to get your ducks in a row, if you will, so you can journey where you need to journey and experience what you need to experience, okay? You are being really called to, to just follow the path of sunshine, okay? What lights your soul on fire? What brings you peace? Those kinds of things. Let's see what affirmation needs to go with pile number one. The sunflowers are really standing out to me. There's two sunflowers down here and there's two sunflowers in his hair. Um, so bring some sunflowers into your home. Um, maybe you, I just saw a vision of a tattoo, a sunflower tattoo. Um, yeah, it looks like he has tattoos on his arms too. So a sunflower tattoo might be significant to you. Um, I'm seeing the pairs. So you might be, you might be doing this journey with somebody else. There might be somebody else that you are wanting to journey with. Uh, we got the detox card. <clears throat> Too often we see this word and we instantly think body, diet, movement. Do we ever stop and think about how we can cleanse our minds? What mental clutter are we hanging on to perhaps unnecessarily sister if you don't if it doesn't spark joy in your mind in your body or in your soul discard it just as we have the power to select the food we eat we have the power to select our thoughts detoxifying our mind body and soul begin with one selected thought at a time 
follow what brings you joy, what lights you up. Detox the mind. Figure out where you're being called to journey to. What are you, what, what's sparking your interest right now? Um, it could be just, it could be ancient, um, historical places. You could really just want to dive into books that talk about these ancient places or whatnot, but you're being really encouraged to journey somewhere that is exciting to you, that feels like sunshine. I really don't see you doing this alone. I feel like there's a partner or a friend that you're going with or that you will be going with. So be super excited for what the future holds there. If you decide to journey within, you're going to be filled with sunshine and sunflowers and you're going to, you're going to get to the destination that you are, um, desiring to go. All right. Thank you guys for tuning in and let me know if this pile number one resonated with you. If you were drawn to more than one, then stay tuned for the next pile. Hi, pile number two. You chose and were drawn to the green appetite. Green appetite helps increase self confidence and self acceptance, a connection to the heart. Your oracle for this is the initiation, the rite of passage, crossing the threshold. You guys are almost there. I am feeling like this is your rite of passage. You have checked all the boxes and it is like green light, go. Okay. Green light, go. You are embarking on your initiation into this next chapter of your life, this next season of your life. Um, it's going to look so drastically different than what you've experienced before is what I am picking up. Um, it might seem really, it might seem a little dark and heavy. The unknown um, can be scary and frightening sometimes, but this is your true divine path. So be confident be, you know, um, be really in your body is what I'm feeling. Like be present, be in your body and follow the yellow brick road, <laughs> follow the path that's unfolding for you because this is your rite of passage. The tarot card that goes with this is the queen of pentacles. We have the queen of pentacles coming out. Queen of pentacles is all about um, luxury and abundance and prosperity and being down to earth though. Um, the, the queen of pentacles isn't greedy or envious or any of those lower vibrational energies that sometimes can be around material wealth. She is, she embodies this like giving, like she has enough. So she she is willing to give without hesitation, right? Um, so this could mean that you are stepping into your most abundant timeline, your most prosperous timeline. If you aren't quite there, if this is like still the initiation, but it's right on the other, it's right on the other side of this initiation is this queen of pentacles energy for you. And the queen of pentacles is, um, asking you to what kind of little things can you bring into your everyday life that, that makes you feel a little bit more luxurious, um, and more abundant and, you know, start incorporating those little things here and there that you can within, within your, you know, current realities budget, find little things where you can make yourself feel abundant and prosperous and luxurious. Okay. I'm seeing like all the flowers in here. And so just maybe like maybe bringing in more fresh flowers if that's what you feel called to or drawn to, um, spice up your hair, you know, your hair routine, your makeup routine, your clothing, like something, switch up something that makes you feel this, this queen of pentacle energy, because this is the energy that you're going to be living in on this next, on the other side of this initiation, this darkness that you've been going through, you can see it's just been kind of this dark road. But right on the other side of that, it's your rite of passage to step, step into this luxury, this queen of pentacles energy. Oh, it's all about your confidence. 
you chose this pile because you are working on your confidence and your self-acceptance, loving you unconditionally for who you truly are, your authentic self. And your authentic self, your soul is abundant and prosperous and luxurious, luxurious. All right, let's see what affirmation needs to come out for pile number two. Feminine, a soft strength, an intuitive knowing, a sultry dance. This, my dear, is your feminine. Feel the essence of her divine, subtle power. She lives within you. Always knowing exactly what you need, what you need to do or where you need to go. She is within you, my love, begging for you to soften and dance in her ways. Do not doubt her, dear one. There is no need to shy away. For there is a wisdom in this grace that will never lead you astray. Now we all, whether you're male or female watching this, we all embody masculine and feminine energy. And so this card is really asking you to soften and step into your femininity. femininity. <laughs> I can never say that word. Um, your feminine energy, okay? Um, soften where you can and feel the softness. Feel the luxury. Luxury. Um, dance more. Play more. Um, don't be afraid of your, especially if you're a man watching this, I just really feel called to say, if you're a man, don't be afraid of your feminine side. We need the, we need the two to be balanced. Okay. To be our true human self. We have both of those energies within us. And sometimes one overpowers the other, but the goal is to, is to balance them. So if you've been really in your masculine and you feel this call to like, kind of like soften, follow that, follow that path right now. Okay. Oh my goodness. What a beautiful message. Thank you guys so much for letting me read for you. Let me know in the comments below, um, what you took away from this message and I will catch you on a next reading. Hi, pile number threes. You chose the selenite heart or drawn to the selenite heart. Selenite heart or selenite in general is all about spiritual growth, higher consciousness. It promotes peace, calmness in, um, and mental clarity and well-being. It's a protection stone. It helps cleanse other stones and your own space as well. <sighs> yes. I can't even make this step up, you guys. I was just, I have my, I have notes in front of me um, about each of the crystals. And I was just fixating on like spiritual growth and higher consciousness and how you are stepping into this higher consciousness season. You, um, you have woken to some new things. Um, things that were not in your awareness before are now in your awareness and you have been kind of, uh, doing a little dance within this, you know, the spirituality and this higher consciousness realm and your oracle card for today says answer the call what is your soul calling you to do what is your higher self calling you to do in this moment follow follow your intuition follow that little voice inside your heart that is like let's do this let's go here let's try that Burp confirmation, excuse me. Your soul is yearning for something right now. And you know what it's desiring. But you are kind of in this, you're allowing the ego to come in and feed you some fear, you know, some fear talk in your mind. Um, that's going to feel uncomfortable. Oh, that might happen. What if this happens? Uh, uh, don't do it. Oof. That voice is our ego. It serves a purpose to keep us to keep us safe, but sometimes, in order to to grow and to reach different levels of higher consciousness, 
we have to step out of our comfort zone. We have to be okay being uncomfortable, okay? So this is saying answer the call, whatever it might be, follow it. The tarot that came out is the three of pentacles. Three of pentacles is all about collaboration and teamwork. So you're really being guided in your next steps and your next venture to um, lean more into teamwork. Where, where can you use some help in an aspect of your life? Okay. Um, find people, find people in your, in your life that you want to collaborate, collaborate with that brings something to the table that maybe you lack in a way that, so there can be, you know, the balance um, within something. Okay. Um, and like, don't, don't hesitate to ask help where you need help. So I feel like what I want to say is like where, where you're wanting to go, where you're supposed to answer this call is going to put you in a place where you're going to need to ask for help. Um, maybe that is outside of your comfort zone. Maybe you are in this, um, this state of mind where you feel like you, you need to do it all. You don't need to ask for help. Um, asking for help is weak and things like that. If that's what your inner voice is saying, this message is telling you to tell your ego to step aside for a little while, let your higher self in to answer the call, to find, um, teammates to do whatever it is that you're about to embark on. And once you step out of that comfort zone and you ask for the help and you start getting things going, you are going to take off. I just see like this plane just like taking off. Okay, let's see what affirmation needs to come out for this, this group. Oh, divine. There is a gentle guiding force of life embedded deep within each of our souls. And we get to choose whether or not we listen to the innate, gentle guidance that lives within and around each of us. There are no accidents, no coincidences. There is only choice. Trust that nothing is left to chance and rather that everything is laid out for us, perfectly plotted and planned, just waiting for us to say yes to. Of course, we get to choose to trust its guidance and to surrender to the knowing that that this is all part of a beautiful divine plan created and crafted specifically to suit the very purpose for which your soul exists. What an incredible com confirmation. You chose selenite, which is all about higher consciousness and spiritual growth. You're on a spiritual, like, your spiritual growth is going to come in like rapid. Um, especially if you listen to the divine call, answer the call. What is your soul wanting you to do? Okay. Follow it. Bring people in to help you achieve this. Don't feel like you have to do it all alone. Your divine plan is to collab and do it together. Okay. Such a sweet message of hope and go get them energy is what I feel like. Um, just really, just really surrender the ego, step into your higher self and answer the call is what I really, really just want you to get from this message. All right, you guys, thank you guys so much for reading. If you felt drawn to another crystal, go ahead and watch that video too. Uh, comment below what you took out of this message and I will catch you guys on the next reading. Thanks again.